Hey everyone! Today we're going to be covering how you can use overlays and sound effects in Movavi Video Editor Plus to improve your YouTube videos. But we're going to start by putting our main video in. I had someone ask how you put a picture or something in over your audio without it cutting the audio. It's actually really simple. So this is a picture I have here. You could also use video and you're just going to drag it down. And right now it's stuck it on the same track as the video. So if it's on the same track as a video, that's that's not what we want. We want to grab that and stick it up here in this other track. And it's going to make a second video or an overlay track where you can put pictures, you can put in video, you can put in clip art. So when I do this, I'm actually going to go ahead and mute this clip down here so you can hear me talk. Then it will just pop in over the video like that. You can make it as long or as short as you want. So I can shorten it and it will just pop in for a moment like that. From there, I can even animate it so that instead of it just popping in, I can use the animation tool, which is down here. So you, these four squares, I'll click it and then make sure I'm in video editing, animation. And then you can add animation with the advanced tool or you can use the easy animation and I'm just going to drag that down here to the clip. And then it will make it, well, actually, hang on, let's add, let's drag, drag another one down. Let's make it slide in. So then it will just slide in from the side and disappear out. I can make it longer and drag in out like that. And then it will slide in and then slide out. So that can make it a little cleaner than just popping in. If you use the advanced tools or if I click to adjust any of these dots down here, then I can change where that comes from. So you can see the first dot has it starting over here. And then when I click the second dot, it is centered. It's the big overlay piece. So I can make that smaller if I want so that it doesn't take up the whole screen. Or I can make that come in from the bottom instead of the top, or instead of the, of the left. So I could drag this one here, down here. So now it's gonna come up instead of across. Yeah, and then it goes out to the side. So you can, you can really do whatever you want with those, with those tools to, to a certain extent. You cannot rotate anything 3D, so like I can't flip this in a 3D type movement, but I can make it spin in, so like if I rotate the first one and put it down here, then when it comes up it's going to have a little spin to it, like that. Okay, so that's how you would use a picture, and it's going to continue to play the audio that's down here while that picture comes up. So if I'm talking about something, so let's say I'm talking about dolphins. For whatever reason, we're talking about dolphins, and I want to play a clip of dolphins here. So if it has audio that I don't want to play, I can mute the clip so that you will just hear me talking down here from this first clip, or I can turn that clip down so I can unmute it and I can drop these volume points here so that it is quieter, or I can go in, oh, no, nope. I can go into the entire clip and turn the volume down. And that way you can hear a little bit of that clip with whatever I'm talking about. So I can pop that in anytime I'm talking about dolphins. See, there's dolphins. Look how pretty the dolphins, right? Now we can also do the same thing with clip art. So if I drag this dolphin clip art down, then you'll see it pops in here like this. And I could have it pop in the screen there. Oh. Or I could animate it. So we're going to go in to the animation tool here again, and I'm going to make this overlay big again. So wherever it is set, so like if I try to use the animation with it here, then it's going to put it there. So if I have it sliding out, it will slide out from there. But if I'm using the advanced animation tool, I will generally go ahead and make it overlap so that it's already big and it's centered. And then I'll go to animation, start the, go to the start of the clip there, and then add 
animation. It's going to add two keyframes to start. And I'm going to start with this one, and we'll have the dolphin pop up here like this, like he's talking to us. And then I'm going to add another animation point. You can right click and add keyframe from the animation option, or you can just click Control T and it will add a keyframe wherever you're at on the clip. And I'm going to have it go back out at the end. So these two are the same, so he's going to go in and stay and then go out at the end. So that will look like this. Uh, and then he leaves. So now we can use some sound effects to make that even more engaging. So I'm going to take this dolphin chirps sound here and cut it down just a bit so that we have just enough for when he pops in. Or she, I don't know. Dolphins. And then here comes the dolphin. And it leaves. And it, that sound effect really adds a lot to it instead of just the dolphin popping in with no, no noise to go with it. So let's say you, you're doing gaming videos and someone falls. You can add a thud sound effect. When you're working with overlays, whatever order they are here on the track is how it will show up on your video. So I have this here, but I can't see it, right? It's because it's underneath the other clip. So I need to put it on top, like that. Now, you can unlink it from your main track, or link it. And I like to keep them linked mostly, as well as the sound effects, because if I don't, and then I move this, the sound effects will get off of where they're supposed to be. So I, I generally keep things linked. And that if it, you can tell if it's linked, because it will have this line here connecting it to this other track. And then you can also add additional tracks. So I could add another video track, maybe that's not linked or that has overlays. For whatever reason, it's separate. And then you have your text track up here. The text is always on top of the overlays. I don't think there's any other option with that, which is kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. The same thing with the stickers. They go up here in this. You cannot take them down here. So if you're using the stickers instead of your actual clip art or your actual videos, then they have to they they cannot go underneath an overlay. So there's a quick lesson on overlays and the sound effects using Movavi Video Editor Plus. Be sure to come back next week. We'll be covering different ways you can use the animation tool to make things appear as if they are getting closer to you or moving away or just different fun ideas that you can use that an that advanced animation tool instead of just the simple animation tools we used here in the easy tab. Make sure you subscribe for more tips on how to use Movavi Video Editor Plus to make your YouTube videos even more awesome. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next for our tutorials. We'll see you next time.